evening, my name is Sam Taskis and today I'm going to be um, building a student's budget PC. Um, I've seen people when they're spending ridiculous amounts of money on something that you can easily construct, honestly. I mean the parts I've got here, literally about five is worth, stuff like that. Right, let's get straight into it. First of all, of course, we need a case which is going to be able to protect all the components that we have. We need some, something like a titanium alloy, um, maybe a composite or something like that, to protect it. Now, you can go to PC Worlds, like get one of these for about 80 pounds or like that, but you know, um, you know, because you're on a student budget, it, you know, it's just basically going to happen, is it? So, um, you know, it's, we, yeah, I think as a case, um, we uh, just got a shoebox. That's a trick. And um, so, yeah, that's your case. Um, previously, we have um, cut in a few slots so we can you know, apply the actual basis for the power, power input, etc, etc. So, of course, we have our DVD case slot. Uh, we have our audio and TV um, output. And also we have the power input and then the USB slots for the mouse and keyboard. Okay, one shoebox, good to go. Okay, first of course we need the motherboard or mainboard as some people call it. Um, we just need something that's you know really high quality and uh, uh, feature rich, and you know maybe a compact or something like that. Maybe something from Microsoft or anything like that. Now you can spend about what was it 60, 70 pounds on a motherboard, I think. But again, tight budget. So I just thought I got a, a Mother's Day card or something like that. That should, that should be fine. And uh, so we'll just. Uh, yeah, 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 just slot that in. Yeah, just there. We'll do the wiring for it in a minute. But in the meantime, because um, again, it's copper wire, it costs a lot. I think we can just use a, uh, you know, tiny bit of wire tack. So just, there we go. just put that in there. Okay, so now we've installed the motherboard. And um, yeah, now we'll move on to the next bits. Right, um, now that we've installed the motherboard, uh, we need to get on with installing the CPU, the central processing unit. Um, now, this is the thing that sort of does your calculations for you and, you know, just does, like, like 3D artists will be using Max, Maya, Fusion, all that sort of stuff. Um, so, I'm told about, you know, maybe 300 pounds for a dual quad core, no, quad core, about 300 pounds. But, um, saying again, as we're on a low budget, uh, you know, Trick, just one of these feathers. Now, to install this one, you need a good bit of wiring. Again, nice bit of white tank. And you'll emplace it onto the side, and onto the bottom of it. So, there and there. Then, you'll place it on and into the slot, just like that. Okay, so now you see that the central processing unit is now installed. Uh, and yeah, it's all buzzing away. You know, move on to the next bit now. Now that we have the central processing unit and the motherboard, uh, what we need now is the graphics card. Um, I know XF, um, or was it XFX do a really good graphics card. Um, you know, they have things for like, uh, you know, gaming systems and things like that. Uh, they go for about 70 pounds, a good decent one, but again, a uh, nice little graphics card like that, you know, should, should do the trick. So, you know, bit of wiring, you'll um, just connect both ends, so that and that. Nice little graphics card, we'll place that on the side, neatly into the slot. You can see that I'm taking extra care with this one. Very gently, not breaking it. Okay, there we are. Now, so we have the central processing unit, uh, the motherboard, and of course our graphics card. And now we'll move on to the next one. Now we need to install the hard drive disk. Uh, now um, I'm told that these go away for about a good 120 pounds, something like that. But again, student budget, no way you're going to be able to afford it. So um, I was looking around on eBay for a couple of days, and I found just the perfect thing. So um, here it is. Uh, you know, a brick, a good, a good, I don't know, 500 megabytes, something like that. It's a nice hard, nice hard disk. So you know, just drop that in carefully. Just place it in there. Okay, so that's now our HDD installed and good to go, wired up. Okay, now we've got to install the CD drive. 
And yeah, um, and again, these things are going for ridiculous prices. So um, yeah, just a nice little DVD CD case should do the trick. So um, yeah, what we do is we place it in here, and then we just very gently, gently um, place it through. And of course, as you can see, uh, when you push the button here, it releases the lock. You pull it out, and then you can very gently open up the CD drive, place the CD in, close it, slide it back in, and the CD shall be ready. Now we need memory for the computer because basically, if the computer doesn't have memory, it won't be able to record the calculations, and it will just completely screw up. Now, um, as you all know. Uh, Fish are well known for their memory, so um, we just sort of grabbed one of these fellas and just break it in half and place it neatly in next to the hard drive. Okay, we have the power supply ready and good to go. Um, you know, there's usually these hefty blocks which have capacitors and things like that. But again, something nice and simple and budget. I've got a couple of double A's. Th th these will really do the job. Just do a tiny bit of wiring on both of them and uh, carefully place them in. You are extremely careful as well because usually the computer explodes at this stage but you know if you know what you're doing you know it usually works out fine. Yeah. So yeah that's your power supply and then it runs through round the back and out to the back cable. And of course finally now we've got the components in place and input uh, inputs and stuff uh, we just need our cooling system. Now uh, there are like some computers which need a good four fans to run them and keep them nice and cool. But again, a nice little budget, you know, sort of, you know, like one of these should do the trick. So all you do is you open up the little hole and then you place it in there, just like that. Making sure that you don't actually go over the top of the case. Because, and then, there you are. So, yeah, don't worry about that, that'd be fine. And there you are, that's your final exhaust. In, uh, for a final cooling system. And yeah, so now you're good to go and ready to test it. Right, uh, today now we've got, uh, kindly we've been able to get into the University of Hertfordshire labs um, in order for us to actually test our process on the screens here. As you can see, we've got our 3D artists like working very hard, you know, working on their projects, hopefully to get jobs sometime, you know, in the future, in the near future. Right, so let's get on with actually plugging in our processor. So of course we have um, we have our power cable. Uh, we have the two USB ports for the mouse and the keyboard, and then finally we have the port for actually the um, audio and um, screens and things like that. Okay, so let's get um, plug it uh, like down the floor. Right. So first, of course, we have the power cable. You know, we just plug it in there, stuff like that. Uh, right, so that's all plugged in, and that should work. We'll test it with a power button later on. Uh, here uh, we have like a sort of a jack that connects the actual um, mouse and keyboard together, so we'll place that in there, just, yeah, that clips in. That's all right. Then of course we have the, um, and finally we have the audio and actual like TV uh, screen. We'll just plug that in there and just tighten it. Hang on. Yeah, that's tight enough, and then we'll go for this one. <laughs> right, so, okay. All right, yeah, good to go. Okay, now we're just gonna play, uh, turn the on button on. Uh, there we go. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, now, as you can see, we've got the system up and running. Let's just try and like sort the stuff like that. It's just you know, it's connecting to the brick and the um, you know, the hard drive and the stuff like that. You know, when you go and get your actual products, you need, do need to inspect them carefully because there are certain details that you need to look in each and every one of them that just are really important. Okay, my name's Sam Taskis. Thanks for watching.